North Macedonia and Montenegro will no longer compete in the Eurovision Song Contest which is set to be held in Liverpool next year. The two countries have claimed the cost for them to enter the famous competition would be too great. Each year, the countries that choose to participate have to pay a fee but this varies depending on the size of the country. However, it's believed that some countries have been told to pay more after Russia had previously been banned from entering the famous contest. Russia, which provides a substantial amount of finance towards the show was prohibited from entering after Vladimir Putin's army illegally invaded Ukraine earlier this year. A spokesperson for RTCG, Montenegro's public broadcaster said, in addition to the significant costs of registration fees, as well as the cost of staying in Great Britain, we also faced a lack of interest from sponsors, so we decided to direct existing resources to the financing of current and planned national projects. It's believed that the total cost for all broadcasters to compete is around £5 million, although the total sum is never publicly disclosed. Some countries are believed to have considered pulling out of the competition due to a result of where it will be held next year. Despite Ukraine winning the 2022 show, the country are unable to host the show as they would normally do to the ongoing Russian invasion. Sources suggest that the BBC will receive between £8 to £17 million to stage the event which will take place in May 2023. In a statement, North Macedonia's broadcaster MRT said, Macedonian Radio Television informs the public about its decision not to participate in the Eurovision Song Contest next year, which will be held in the United Kingdom. Such a decision is in the best interest of the citizens, taking into account the increased costs due to the energy crisis, which occupy a large part of the budget of the public service, as well as the increased registration fee for participation in Eurosong 2023, which until last year was 39,143. Oh oh euros, and the next year is expected to be higher. Meanwhile, the European Broadcasting Union which organized the event explained they were committed to keeping the costs of taking part as affordable as possible and the cost to enter is based on the members' relative size and financial status. While no official lineup of countries taking part has been announced, it's expected to be released later this week.